one of the things that we're trying to do here is to uh, find a new way of organizing science to try and uh, combine the best from Silicon Valley style startups and the best from the top academic places and actually combine that together into a unique culture that allows us to make research breakthroughs um, faster than ever. So our mission, the way we articulate it, is uh, in two steps. Step one, to try and fundamentally solve uh, and understand intelligence. And then if we can do that, we believe that we can use that technology to try and apply it to almost everything else. The next kind of holy grail or grand challenge for AI research in games was another game, a much more complex game called Go. Now I'm going to talk, um, for the rest of this talk, about AlphaGo, a program that we created very recently um, and was one of our big breakthroughs, our most sort of recent breakthrough. One idea of how the sort of complexity of Go, why it's so much more complex than chess, one way to illustrate that is that there are more possible board positions in Go than there are atoms in the universe, 10 to the power 170. So even if you were to use all of the compute power on the planet and run it for a million years, you wouldn't have enough compute power to calculate and brute force everything about the game. So just to end about the critical difference, circling back to what I said at the beginning between narrow AI and general AI. And therefore, what is the difference between AlphaGo and Deep Blue? Both of these um, programs beat world champions at their respective board games. But um, although AlphaGo is a big achievement, the key point here is how we did it. So Deep Blue was pre-programmed with specialized handcrafted knowledge that was distilled from chess grandmasters. Whereas AlphaGo used general purpose algorithms, these neural networks and reinforcement learning to learn how to play Go and improve itself. It's a modular system that combined several different aspects together, deep learning, reinforcement learning, Monte Carlo tree search. So it combined pattern recognition with planning. And I think that's what we're gonna see in the future with AI algorithms, combining the strengths of different types of algorithms. And because of this, AlphaGo thinks and plays in a much more human-like way. So now, because it's a general purpose algorithms, of course, the aim of DeepMind is not just to play games. We use games as a, as a great testing platform to develop our AI algorithms. But ultimately, we want to apply these technologies to have real world impact uh, on very important problems. And we're looking right now at applying these to things like healthcare, robotics, and conversational personal assistance. Mm -hmm.